a boy was given a great gift by his tribe. It was a mighty instrument. The tribe taught the boy how to play Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday was their tribe's song. The boy learned to play the song. And this pleased the tribe very much. The boy would play the instrument after the meetings. The boy discovered that there were more songs than Happy Birthday. At the next tribe meeting, after a rousing rendition of Happy Birthday, the boy decided to share with the tribe one of the other songs. This did not please the tribe at all. The tribe leaders asked the boy, What are you doing? The boy excitedly shared some of the discoveries that he had made with the instrument. The leader said, In our tribe, we play Happy Birthday. This made the boy sad. He loved his tribe very much, but he loved playing the instrument. The boy traveled great distances away from his tribe. As he explored many different places, he found people who also played the instrument. Some tribes played Amazing Grace. Other tribes played other songs. When the boy finished telling his tribesmen the parable, he asked if they understood the parable. One tribe member asked, Aren't we supposed to be playing Happy Birthday? The boy answered, Happy Birthday is really good, but more music can be made. Another tribe's person asked, Did you make up that parable? I don't remember seeing the lyrics on the Happy Birthday sheet music. Wait a minute. Someone replied, Is this parable about us? The boy demurred, What do you think? Is there any truth in it? Happy birthday is what's true. Yeah, we really should not go down any slippery slopes by playing anything but happy birthday. I don't think we should even be talking about parables at all. So the tribe agreed that they would stick to happy birthday. Acapella. So the boy continued his travels and kept on learning the instrument. He found a tribe whose main song was happy birthday, but they also liked some other songs too. In that wilderness, there was an old man who played some songs the boy never heard before. He was a master at the instrument. He would pick it up and play and even make, make up new songs. The boy and the old man would get together every week and share songs. The boy learned scales and notes and a few songs from the old man. The old man said, The untold joys of music can be played with this instrument. This fascinated the boy. The idea of playing your own songs. It was exciting, but also sounded a little scary. This was a long way away from Happy Birthday. But the boy kept trying to play songs that he had learned from the old man. The boy shared the parable of the instrument with the old man. It's very good. You said a lot of things. I have only one comment. Why did you say that the boy was trying? He's not trying. He's actually playing music. He doesn't know every song but nobody does. But everybody was given an instrument. 
And the maker wants us to go out there and be musical. Making music is what we were made to do. Very few people from the tribe would talk to the boy anymore. Veering from happy birthday made them uncomfortable. There were objections that his tribesmen would bring up when they did talk. Why do you have to talk in parables? Why can you not be more clear? What are you saying about music? It makes me uncomfortable to talk about instruments. I'm more a concrete thinker. Can we make a spreadsheet about the parable? Wait, 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 the boy answered. Remember that the founder of all the tribes used to tell parables? Not everybody understood his parables either. Maybe the parable is not perfect, but I thought it said some important things. Maybe I'm just trying to make my dad proud. A tribesman remarked, I knew your dad, mister, and I don't think he'd be proud at all. The boy continued to the tribe. My dad tells me all the time that he loves me and that he is proud of me. Remember what the dad said of the son? Listen to him. He says what I would say. Go ahead, test him, engage with his parables. He'll stand the test. That is the parable of the instruments.